Jeremy Lutke out of the US of A. He claimed a lot of victories, single victories with solid runs, combining big mountain Ooh. riding with those fresh. Massive shifty. Yeah. And the reigning champ here in Sham is this man, Sammy Lutke. So watch out, folks. 360. Big backside three. Indy grabs. Perfect sticks it stomp. clean. Well, you know what? <laughs> we saw three peat from uh, Louis Colomb Paton in the men's ski. Front side three with the grab as well. And Loop keep mixing it up, throwing in the freestyle tricks, absolutely ripping. He wants to go back to back here in Chamonix as well. It just looks like it. Although it's, he's the first out of the gate, but we can tell. We have seen a few contests before, ah. and that is an amazing run. That's called throwing down the gauntlet. He's just looked back up to the top of the Igri Puri and gone, come on, boys, bring it on. Sammy Lupke killing it. <laughs> Victor can do it anywhere. Absolutely. Victor not having the best couple of runs on this face exactly a year ago, ending up being the last two stops that we had for the snowboard men in 2020. Looking for some redemption here today, I think. Heading out to the lookers left side, snowboard is right. This is where we saw Hugo Sierra go, and for an experienced snowboarder that got lost in there like Hugo Sierra, we could see if Victor De La Rue is going to find his way a little bit better through here. He's ridden this face before, so maybe he's got the advantage of experience in that case. Let's see what he's got for us. Yeah, Victor right now over the huge part of the face, going high and launching a 360. Perfect landing, absolute dead clean. So Victor getting his campaign started here with a bang as we expect from Victor De La Rue, as did 74% of you in the peak performance fun bet. Victor right now is looking good, looking strong. This is kind of the Victor that we know and love. Absolutely. So hitting that top here that we saw Marcus Eder hit last year. I think it's going to be a pretty popular one today. Victor the first one to hit it. So heard a lot of the ski guys talking about it, but catching his nose in the snow that might be a little bit crusty in that zone. But what's he got off this one? Sending it and stomping it is one of the only good exits from that zone and making it look like it's a lot of fun to do. Wonder how much that's going to hurt a control score though with the nose catch above it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, that's just such a tricky area. Now, Victor going for the channel gap across and making it so clean. I did not think we were going to see that today, but Victor De La Rue made it look easy. That was unbelievable. Victor just hitting the criteria and look at the smile on his face. <laughs> The rider up to come from Austria, he's gonna set the bar for everyone after. He has been riding Japanese power for years and he has been proving it in video parts year after year. The most creative rider and probably a role model for riders here on the competition. So fast Gigi from that top Rich. section. Yes, cruising it. Gigi lining up his first top feature, stomping it clean. Not quite as big as Blake and not with the trick, but putting that landing down four points square. So I think you'll probably get at least as many points for that air as Blake Ham did for that backflip uh, because his landing was so clean. And sending another huge one. Oh, oh sending it deep! Oh wow! God. Stomping it and riding straight into another feature. Here comes a beautiful 360. Everything clean so far so and styly. Wow, this is an amazing run from Gigi Roth here so far. Four hits, one trick, everything stomps. And lining up something else as well, coming down to the lookers right at the bottom. Slashing that power. Wow. Enjoying it. You have to know, he has been in the snowboard game for so many years, but still he gets the goosebumps, he gets the butterflies in his stomach. Four star winner two years ago. No event last year, so previous Japan big comp winner with a big three and a big seven. Got a little bit of, of internet tomfoolery for how excited I was about his run, but I've never been one to ration the passion. I'm not about to start now, and neither is Travis. Just if you are the one or two people in the world that don't know his name, just go and look it up. The fourth phase for the Art of Flight. And that's what we're going to see. A lot of speed here. coming the through. Art here. of Flight with a seven. Yeah. Beautifully stomped. And another grab. 
already ripping down the space halfway down and it's been no time with the seven already took so much speed into that hit are we surprised no just excited cruising into the lower section already knowing that he has a big part of his solid score done now he's not backing off at all here we got the speed steep section where other people had oh, some problems nice. with Sticking it clean, still having a little bit of issue going for the back. Yeah, he is making Travis. it! What a run! Oh my god. That was amazing. He ticked all the boxes to not only excite us, but definitely the judges. And this score will be going through the roof.